At CVS this week, we really just bought items that were part of the gas card deal. And the only extra buck deal that I bought this week was the soft soap. These are the seven and a half ounce size. They're $1.99. And I used this 35 cents off coupon and got back a dollar register award. So that's the only, a one dollar extra buck, silly me. That's the only extra buck deal we got this week. So I really just did one transaction. I just bought this with all of the gas card items. We got the Nestle Pure Life 24 count packs. And at our store here in Georgia, they are $2.99 a pack. Cokes, you have to buy four to get the $12 deal. So we got four packs. They're all four Cokes. And then we got the combos. So I got nine of those. They were two for three. That's $1.50 a bag. And I had a CVS coupon that gave me $1.50 off when I spent $8 on chips, cookies, crackers, nuts. So I was able to use that CVS coupon. I didn't have any manufacturer's coupons for the combos. The Twizzlers, they were $1.88 a pack and I used this $1 off of three Twizzlers coupon that expires 7-6. So all these items for the gas card this was an extra buck deal. I used a $3 extra buck and a $2.50 extra buck that I got last week from the Tina and the Bengay. So I was able to use those and get some off of my subtotal. So for after all of my coupons and after my two extra bucks, I paid, um, I had a subtotal of $33.75. I didn't pay that much because I had a $10 um, CVS gift card from Swagbucks. And I paid $23.75 out of pocket because I was able to use that $10 gift card from Swagbucks. The savings, I saved $48.75, which is 67%. And I got back a $10 Shell gas card. Now, I did have problems today at the gas pump. I tried twice to get it to go at one pump and it kept rejecting the transaction. So went to a different pump, same thing. Rejected it, have to go in and see the cashier. That's what it told me three different times at two different pumps. So went inside and the cashier said you can't use the, ga the gas cards at the pump. Those gift cards went, but I had done that three times last week. I um, uh, had been saving up my gas cards and I was able to use them and I was able to pay for them at the pump but for some reason whenever I swipe my card inside of the shell station it was also declined because there was no balance so I had to call the number on the back and the uh, customer service man told me that for some reason the gas card couldn't communicate with their system so it had locked the balance down and he was able to unlock it and put the ten dollars back on the card so it's ready to use so if you have any problems like that this week hopefully i'm the only person that did but if you have any problems like that this week just call the 800 number on the back and be sure to keep your receipt I have my receipt right here for my gas card and it has been activated so um 23.75 for all of this. It would have been 33.75 if I wouldn't have had that $10 gift card. Swagbucks definitely makes a difference um, whenever you can get those gift cards. I like getting gift cards from CVS, $5, $10. You can also get Amazon gift cards as well.